Hello, it's morning. People have asked me what I do, so I want to show you how I earn money here in Russia. My, my table, we have mess here every day. So I made, I make dolls from polymer clay and I make um, four dolls, just clothes and our I had Etsy um, shop 2017 to 2022 and I had a lot of sub subscribers were, were around uh, 3000 people and I earned uh, lots of money where I start works worked at 7 a.m. and till 1 a.m. so I start in the morning and at night I went to sleep because I had lots of orders. Many people love my items. I had 20 packages per day and I have messages from my buyers. Please come back. But everybody know what we have problems here in Russia with payments. I have some buyers from Japan, China, China, most of them from USA, Canada, Europe, from Australia, but 90% um, buyers was from USA. Now I make those for Russians, but I think maybe move to Turkey to open my shopware and send to my buyers. I'm thinking about this, but now I sell my items here in Russia. I haven't big money here, but it's enough for us now. I just love to create nut collector. I haven't any baby at home now. I do not complain about my love, I just want to explain where I work now and where I earned money before mm, before this situation. I don't want to, to talk about, I don't know to say right words about this, you know, because I have children and someone said everything is clear. <laughs> people and some people say it you're like traitors normal people go to defend the country and you sit like rats <sighs> I am woman it's the most important thing in my family is to protect my children I gave birth to my son and fate raised myself you can't even imagine how hard it was for me we lived in poverty you see now how we live, and we live this in such a way that only children drank milk, only children ate fruit. I didn't have money for anything. I couldn't afford to eat an orange or drink juice or milk. No one helped me. My mother helped me physically because at that moment she also lost her job. I didn't take anything from the state. No help. My ex-husband also didn't help me. This is my child. What's why I say it? This is my child. Why am I telling this? We were just a lot of questions and I answer them. If you have more questions, you can leave a comment on the video. And uh, the fact that Pasha is not going to serve. I will tell you, Pasha's leg was cut off with a skite, 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 skite. Kasa, Kasa in English. When he was small, he was six years old. Uh, they soft with his leg on. He can he can walk, but he cannot run or, or perform heavy activities. So worried about the situation right now. We have military planes, helicopters, fighters, jets flying in my city in Overseask. Of course, it's scary. It's scary what will happen next. I think these plans just took um, part in the hostilities 
in Sevastopol because on that day military planes flew from the sea to the city every half hour. Mm. And on the next day I saw news about uh, Sevastopol. But guys, want, I want to say let's be friendly to each other because we are all humans. Our nationality is human. We are the same. We do the same things. Let's be a little friendly to each other. So best wishes to everyone. I hope I can make new videos. Uh, I have mood and inspiration to make new videos. Hugs to everyone. Goodbye.